This how-to video is going to describe how to use the zone creation and management inside uh, the Cadence PCB tools. So I have a cross section here that has um, a primary section. Obviously, the, the main section of my PCB is going to be a, a six-layer PCB. I've got a flexi section, which is uh, two layers. I've got some stiffeners and some cover lays. I've also got a rigid section, which is four layers um, for a connector to be placed on the end. Um, of the, of, of the flexi section. So now what I need to do is, is obviously arrange these areas or tell PCB editor where to look for these areas, what to use for these areas so it knows which, which sections of the board are what. So obviously I have a, a design outline going around all of the PCB. So if I go to the setup zones, I can then create the areas that I want to use for the zones. It uses the design outline, um, which is a new feature in um, this version of the tools. And I basically have a, a, some different zones uh, and the stack up that I wish to use. So now the primary section is the, the main section of the PCB. You don't have to define this area if you don't want to, um, but we can. Um, and I can literally just do a right click, add rectangle, or add a shape. We'll start off with an add rectangle. And I can then just draw an area around. I actually want to be quite specific here, so I'm going to use a little marker I've got here. I'm going to snap pick to the intersection. And effectively my first area gets created, my zone one. I then want to move on to zone two. Zone two is going to be the flexi section. So again, we're going to start off with a, a right click snap pick to intersection. And then I'm going to come down. And again, I've got another marker here. So my flexi section kind of comes down this, this curved part. This is the, going to be the rigid section. So I can then use the snap pick to intersection again. And I then get effectively the zone two section. And then finally zone three is going to be my rigid part of the board. And I can then just draw a rectangle over this and zone three then becomes created. If I go to the setup zones and manage, this manage function allows me to kind of come in and, and look at the zones. So if I've made a mistake and, and chosen the wrong flexi type or the, the wrong rigid type to start and end layers, etc., I can I can I can adjust it here. I can adjust the names here. So if I wanted to call this maybe a the connector zone, that's then going to obviously update instantly with the name that we've got. And we can also apply things like a constraint region. So if the flexi section, if I've got a specific tracking and gapping rule. Um, I can pick that and say, well, this is the flexi section, so that's going to use the routing rules based on that section that we've got here.